Uh, I was born in Houston, Texas, and spent a lot of time in uh, Denver, Colorado, San Diego, California, and Dallas, Texas, so I lived in a lot of places. I grew up in a single parent home for quite a while. Uh, my dad, before I was one, had left uh, our house to pursue uh, his drug addiction. And so uh, it's just me and moms. Um, grew up poor uh, pretty much whole life. A lot of the guys in my heroes growing up were um, guys in my neighborhood, gang members, you know, the whole gamut. And so I was real rebellious, ran the streets really heavy, uh, got real involved in um, gangs, got it, started doing drugs um, in middle school. The men that my mother would date, um, she ran the gamut of them. Some of them were um, real sensitive and would uh, cry because of the relationship being broken up and that was strange to me. Um, on the other hand, some would literally punch me in the face. And, um, and so um, I gravitated towards some of the guys who, who gave me time and who gave me love and who, or what I thought was love. And those were a lot of the guys in the streets. Those were a lot of, um, some of my uncles who were drug dealers and gang members. I struggled with love, I did, because my mother, of course, um, was the, the closest person to me, but then I couldn't understand why she would allow these men to live with us who would beat on me. Um, I, I, my father I struggled with why he would want to leave his son. Like, why would you want to just leave me? Um, and then the guys, my uncles and some of those guys out there, I struggled with love from them because in the one moment where they were encouraging me and telling me how to live life and how to be a man, uh, they were slapping me on, in the face and putting me in the trunk of the car for some sort of rite of passage or to, to tell me that, uh, you know, I deserved it. I grew up listening to a lot of Tupac, a lot of Tupac Shakur, because uh, I could relate to him pretty heavy. He was a guy who was in the inner city but was, but was well read, and I, and I knew books. I read books. My mother made me uh, read books, so I knew there was a life outside of the life I was seeing. Um, so I could understand and relate to him. I, I listened to a lot of NWA, a lot of Ice Cube, a lot of Easy e I was on the West Coast a lot, um, a lot of Nas. And um, so those are the guys, the, they, were, they were passionate about what they believed in. And so I just gravitated toward those guys and they taught me, um, they, they made me very ethnocentric. They made me very uh, rough around the edges. They made me uh, very chauvinistic. They encouraged that in me. I won't say they made me, but they encouraged that in me. I could listen to these rappers over and over again and they would give me insight and, and ideas on what life's supposed to look like.